Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat datang ke channel YouTube saya. Channel ini saya buat khas untuk berkongsi maklumat, informasi, ilmu berkenaan technical analysis dan juga price action dalam yang digunakan dalam bidang trading. So saya berharap saya saya berharap dengan video ini dapat membantu tuan-tuan puan yang Uh, mungkin bakal menjadi trader untuk part time Ataupun untuk mana-mana trader yang sudah establish So this is all for educational purpose So it's not for actual trading advice So kita hanya uh, berbincang, sharing mengenai teknik-teknik um, trading Definasi, terminologi, rules-rules tertentu dalam bidang trading lah okay. So Again, uh, this is about uh, purely educational. So, if you have anything that you can email me, then I'll share the the link uh, to my email later on. So, for now, this is episode 001 introduction. So, in this video, I will walk through the definition of uh, technical analysis. And, and price action But price action mungkin saya akan cover dalam video seterusnya Tapi video ni saya nak cover hanya uh, Technical analysis dulu Okay because price action itself is a subset of technical analysis actually So so kita kita define kan apa itu technical analysis So uh, what what my intent is Is saya nak semua pendengar-pendengar ataupun uh, viewer When we start uh, embark our journey In this technical analysis price action course I would say this is online free online course like actually So we need to bring everybody to the same level of understanding Which is what is technical analysis in the first place right Untuk menjadi technical trader Kita kena tahu apa elemen-elemen dan filosofi-filosofi asas Mengenai technical analysis ya yeah. So dalam video ni saya akan cerangkan uh, Lebih tenangkan uh, mengenai prinsipal-prinsipal tertentu Uh, rules-rules tertentu Apa definasi tertentu mengenai technical analysis Okay Okay So di sini ada disclaimer It's a standard disclaimer uh, I just want to uh, Read it out once and for all So Bear with me lah So this is an education video To share my knowledge and experience in technical trading Okay this is not a paid uh, Online course or whatever This is a free information uh, Free education So none Of information posted in this page can be used as trading advice except for educational purpose only. So you can use whatever the technique, the information that I share. You can study, you can discuss with among your friends, or you can feedback to me, and then you try in your trading. But just for education, you have to try yourself. You have to walk through the the theory, the practice, the reference that I will give, and you have to practice it. And uh, please do not trade solely on information posted in this page. So basically, is a trade at your own risk, lah. Okay. So, and then uh, if you think about uh, investing seriously, your capital. So please seek professional guidance. Okay. Alright. So there will there are a lot of uh, qualified uh, remiser, licensed remiser, or regulated uh, bodies that can properly invest your money. Right, but in this uh, video, we are talking about uh, trade, uh, individual trading as uh, retail traders. Okay, so selepas selepas tengok video ni, jika terdapat any feedbacks or questions, you can email me at askme. dot arifmota at gmail. dot com. So insyaallah uh, saya akan cuba reply uh, dan address any feedback negative, positif, uh, apa apa lah dan dalam yang saya boleh dalam video-video yang akan datang Okay So Before we begin eh, Sebelum kita mula So Apa yang anda boleh lihat dekat sini Is uh, Just one wrap up Apakah uh, Yang perlu anda tahu Before anda uh, Start trading eh? What you need Before you can start trading Basically This is the exact thing That, that I Develop For myself uh, This is how I started in trading So, I hope it can be also it can uh, be applicable to to you juga lah. Alright. 
So untuk trader untuk bakal-bakal trader di luar sana yang uh, yang akan start from zero, no idea what is trading for, no idea how to put your money, no idea how you can make profit uh, in trading uh, uh, activities. Uh, good, this is the what you need. Uh, at least this is what the tools, uh, the guidance that you need before you can start. Okay. So pertama kali. Pertamanya, kita memerlukan trading knowledge, right? So, trading knowledge ni, majorly, the information ni uh, adalah dalam English. So, jika anda terdapat uh, terminologi yang tak faham, anda boleh email. Just email me, tanya apa yang tak faham or you just can Google. So, I'm not doing exact translation but you can always Google, right? So, English is a medium of... Uh, Uh, language that widely used for this uh, trading activity so most of the information the references are coming uh, from western country eh? uh, in fact uh, technical indicators kebanyakannya coming from uh, western countries yes we kita juga ada technical indicators yang origin from japanese so that that's where we talk about uh, blending of Uh, Eastern uh, methodologies and Western methodologies. So we uh, kita akan pergi ke arah uh, kita akan bincang pasal uh, technical indicators later on. So so this is what you need lah actually. So trading knowledge, you need to know the terminologies, definition, strategy, money or risk management, psychology and mindset. This is very important. You cannot trade blindly. You cannot put your money buy and sell hoping for profit. That's gambler, that's gambling, that is a desperate uh, trader. Okay, kita kalau boleh nak trading uh, uh, syariah compliance, kita nak trade based on informed decision. Maksudnya, uh, kita punya keputusan untuk membeli atau menjual sesuatu instrumen itu mestilah berdasarkan uh, reason tertentu. Mesti ada reason kenapa kita kena buy dan mesti ada reason kenapa kita nak sell. Okay, right. So, nombor dua, mentorships. Mentorship ni wajib. Uh, Tuan-tuan puan semua kena seek for guidance. Exchange function. Jangan berguru seorang. Okay, saya dah pergi bermacam-macam guru daripada locals dan ada yang online uh, online course. Uh, ada yang bela- yang saya belajar dengan kawan-kawan sendiri. And you have to be... Uh, down to earth Approach people And belajar Tak kisahlah Ada level baru ke Ada level lama ke uh, Don't be cocky lah If you have A lot of information A lot of knowledge Don't be cocky And Try to help each other Right InsyaAllah Allah akan membantu uh, Kita Jika kita membantu orang lain So Itulah sebahagian saya Niat saya Saya nak buat kelas Sebesar-besar Saya tak mampu Saya tak popular lagi kan So So, apa yang saya harap, uh, saya nak, saya nak, kalau boleh nak ajar informasi, share informasi yang, you know, yang yang freely available internet. So, saya nak share dengan tuan-tuan. So, yang penting tadi, nombor dua, mentorships. Uh, nombor tiga, reading material. ya yeah. Reading materials ni ataupun references. Uh, kita boleh beli buku, buku trading banyak dekat Kinokunia. Bermacam-macam harga Ada yang boleh dapat freely from internet And ada yang boleh dapatkan daripada online courses Free or paid doesn't matter It's up to you If you have uh, extra money for education Invest in education first Do not invest in trading uh, Directly lah I mean uh, you put your money into your trading account Jika anda baru bermula Don't do that Just invest your money To go for Uh, trading classes right? Sekarang ni saya tengok banyak uh, Trading class percuma Ada yang percuma and then lepas percuma Satu hari dia akan uh, Airclan kan untuk paid cost Tak masalah duit anda go ahead Tapi make sure kita pilih Yang quality quality lecturer Quality instructor Yang legit okay? So nanti kita akan bincang macam mana kita nak Pilih sifu-sifu trader Uh, berdasarkan pengalaman saya lah Saya nak share saja It's not a strict guideline But Pengalaman saya Supaya saya Supaya anda tak buat mistake Dalam memilih sifu-sifu ni Okay Beware of scammers Okay Ingat 
Dalam trading ni tak ada holy grail trading Dalam trading We are working based on uh, probabilities And uncertainties We try to increase our odds eh? Every time we do trading We try to get more confluences Maksudnya kita Sebelum dalam trading ni Kita nak increasekan probability uh, Dalam price forecasting Supaya bila kita masuk Trade position Kita mempunyai high probability That the price is going towards Our intent, intended uh, direction Or profitable direction Okay Okay So we remember dalam trading We are not working with uh, certainties But we working with probabilities Okay Next Access to Access to price data and charts So basically uh, Charting platform lah Charting platform ni ada yang paid, ada yang free. So, kalau anda tengok dalam tradingview.com, dan Metro Trader, this is adalah uh, yang free dan also paid. So, this has a different accounts. Okay. And then, we have a trading accounts. So, after all, you have the informasi, information, you want, you have the some information, then uh, you want to start to see the real market, how the real market actually works. How the orders are executed, how profit are taken, how uh, we protect our investment, how we protect our positions. So you need to open your trading accounts. Trading accounts we can open uh, secara uh, demo ataupun live. Live maksudnya kita menggunakan duit yang sebenar lah. Kita kena masukkan duit. Dalam demo tak ada, kita gunakan duit uh, fake money lah, digital money. Uh, but we are trading on the actual server lah Only the execution part is different server And then finally Kita kena ada Kita kena locate uh, Some fund or capital lah And then this is, should be in USD lah Alright um, Dan nasihat saya Jangan guna duit emergency uh, Macam duit backup kesihatan lah Duit saving nak beli rumah Duit saving nak kahwin untuk untuk fund untuk jadikan kita punya initial capital dalam risking dalam trading ni. Kenapa? Sebab trading ni untuk consistently profit it will take some times. Yes, you might have a beginner's luck. Then then you think yourself is a king uh, of the world, top of the world bila you have a con- con- consecutive winnings because you just begin, okay? So a lot of newbies they, they have a, this syndrome With uh, beginner's luck So they think they already covered The market follow his prediction Sedangkan dia hanya Baru je belajar No way market boleh follow Dia punya prediction Okay We are retail traders We not move We are not the one That cause the market to move It is a institutional traders It is a big banks Okay Yang menggerakkan uh, uh, Market Right We Retail traders We just a sideways and we are we are passengers. If in a good time, kita join the train, we go to the train, we train follow, then we make some profit. And most of the time, we not make profit. But when we not make profit, we have to ensure that profit too is, um, uh, sorry, um, most of the time, uh, some of the time we do make profit and sometimes we not make profit. So when we not make profit, meaning that we making loss. But as long as the loss are manageable losses, we are okay because kita ada money management or risk management. Okay, risk management yang proper will allow us to stay in trading, uh, to survive in trading. Yes, I'm not going to lie you. We are going to experience many losses, many losses. But that losses will be. Uh, keep within certain amount of loss uh, allowable losses that at the end of the day our profit will top the losses okay we will make some profit at the end of certain period like annual or monthly or whatsoever so again allocate some capitals and this capital or fund is the amount that you can risk to loss let's say you have a simpanan like $5,000 So you are willing to spend about $2,000 for trading So just look at this $2,000 And then for $2,000 you have to split it into small small risk uh, That you can loss lah You can risk to loss for any particular any particular position So so we go to that 
uh, uh, micro management of uh, risk. Okay, we will micromanage the each risk. Every time we enter the position, we know the risk up front. So that there, there is no element of surprise dalam trading. If we have a proper risk management, we know what how much we're going to lose and we'll be ready for that. Okay. So that's the skill that I want to, you know, to share with you. Alright. So again, uh, saya ulang. Sharing knowledge, mentorship, reading materials, access to price data charting platform, you need to open a trading accounts and allocate some fund. Right. So, uh, untuk um, trading platform, right? Untuk charting platform, sorry. Saya akan pergi kepada trading view untuk tunjukkan kepada tuan-tuan puan bagaimanakah trading view, apakah itu trading view. Okey. Okey, di sini anda lihat anda boleh just type saja di sini di browser anda tradingview.com so dia akan bawa kepada page utama dia. So don't be too uh, worry about too many numbers here. Nanti kita akan go through Uh, how we going to use the trading view from beginning from beginner lah from beginner and then we can gunakan some advanced method untuk do uh, melakukan technical analysis right so bila anda pergi kepada trading view anda akan nampak uh, macam berbagai pelbagai instrument uh, data ya yeah. so dalam trading view ni kalau anda pergi kepada tab horizontal tab here ni kita ada ideas market script screener brokers and charts Okay, anda pergi kepada charge ya. Pergi kepada charge. And then, dia akan pop up uh, interactive chart area. We call it a chart area here. It shows you the instrument. Sama ada stocks, um, index, and currency. Okay, yang anda tengah lihat sekarang adalah stock Apple, APPL. Dia punya ticker, nam, ticker name. Eh. Ticker name is a, is a short form for the stock name for example kalau AAPL is Apple Incorporation right so kat sini kita tengoklah Apple is on the what trend is up trend okay uh, Apple has been on up trending since many many months okay yep many many months since 2019 2019 lah right so kita akan tengok bagaimana nanti macam mana kita nak define trend tapi itu lambat lagi lah before that saya akan walk through tuan-tuan puan kepada how chart is constructed constructed meaning kita nak tahu bagaimanakah price charge ini berlaku apa yang ditunjukkan dalam price chart ni apa yang kotak-kotak hitam uh, line panjang macam ini apakah maksud-maksud yang dibawa ni kita akan lihat bagaimana price construction eh the construction of charge ini sangat penting saya akan buat satu video berkenaan dengan construction of charge only nanti later on. Okay. So, ini, ini trading view. So, kalau ada lagi yang biasanya untuk orang main uh, currency, dia akan pakai MetaTrader. MetaTrader also is a charting platform where we can also uh, send orders for buy and sell. Eh. Okay. So, ini salah satu contoh ni. Uh, contoh uh, Meta Trader kita ada pair and then kita ada uh, market uh, price candle semua kita boleh tengok kat sini ini pun nanti kita akan walk through macam mana kita nak menggunakan uh, uh, MT4 platform ok yang ketiganya kita nak pergi kepada Saxo ok Saxo adalah untuk kalau kita main option dan kita beli stock Right, uh, so kita boleh pergi kepada home.saxo And then kita tengok uh, preview dia punya platform macam mana Saxo ni dia punya platform dia modern Dia gunakan uh, anti interactive HTML eh. Platform, so dia agak more professional look lah Okay, for example kan sekarang kita tengok Google lah eh. Google punya stock uh, Alphabet Alphabet or uh, kita tengok Apple lah. Okay, Apple. So, Apple ni sama juga graf dia. Kita boleh tengok chart. Kita tekan the full screen kat sini. So, sama. So, ini dalam 15 minit ni. Kalau kita tengok one day. 
Okay so ni adalah Apple Dia lebih sama Dia sama eh Dengan uh, trading view tadi Okay Okay cuma Saxo ni kita boleh buka account Dan Saxo is a broker lah Trading view Bukan broker Dia adalah uh, Platform uh, Untuk chart Uh, talk charting eh Charting platform But Trading view uh, Boleh link kepada Broker-broker Maksudnya kita boleh melakukan Trade Dalam trading view Dia ada broker-broker tertentu Yang link dengan trading view Macam Saxo Trader Saxo adalah broker Dan Saxo uh, Platform ni adalah dia, dia punya sendiri Meta Trader Adalah uh, Charting platform saja Dan Meta Trader ni dia ada broker-broker Banyak broker menggunakan platform MetaTrader ni sebagai platform Contohnya macam, macam MetaTrader 4 Kita boleh download daripada broker punya page Contohnya macam kita ada Paperstone eh. Paperstone uh, adalah broker daripada Australia So kalau kita tengok dia punya website dia Paperstone.com Kita tengok dia ada menawarkan trading platform dan tools Daripada MetaTrader 4 MetaTrader 5 And C Trader, C Trader is a professional look lah macam Sexo tadi. Okay, so kita akan pergi ke semua uh, platform ini satu persatu. Kita tengok macam mana kita nak set up sebagai beginner. Apakah fungsi-fungsi? Apakah uh, additional uh, functionality yang kita boleh guna? Okay, so saya nak recap. Meta Trader platform download free, boleh tengok price charge. Uh, anda perlu buka account dengan broker. Dan linkkan broker kepada MetaTrader platform. Saxo adalah broker dan juga charting platform. Kita kena buka account dan boleh terus pakai. Dan trading view, mostly kita buat technical analysis kat sini saja. Kita tak linkkan kepada broker dalam ni. Okay. Okay. So, back to uh, our course notes. Okay. Okay, now this is the important parts Technical analysis Okay, basically technical analysis uh, Saya nak terangkan uh, Saya nak bagi dalam tiga elemen Dalam technical analysis yang kita, kita kena tahu Okay, first sama kita kena tahu What is technical analysis Apakah itu technical analysis And kedua Technical analysis versus fundamental analysis Okay Yang ketiganya Philosophy of technical analysis Alright So, nombor satu tadi kita akan define Apakah yang dikatakan technical analysis Okay So basically technical analysis Is the study of market action Primarily through the use of charts For the purpose of forecasting future price trends So this is quoted uh, statement uh, From uh, buku John J. Murphy Technical analysis of the financial markets Okay anda boleh dapatkan buku ni di Kino Kunia And buku ni uh, boleh dikatakan sebagai uh, Kitab untuk technical, technical traders lah Right This is the cornerstones of the technical trading uh, Berdasarkan buku ni Buku ni juga dah buku utama dalam uh, Certification MSTA uh, UK Okay So Apa yang cuba diterangkan Maksudnya adalah Technical analysis ni adalah uh, Adalah satu bidang Yang kita Di mana kita menggunakan Price charge Seperti yang saya tunjuk tadi dalam Chart Apple tadi dengan tujuan untuk forecast Predict the future price trend Bila kita tahu price trend Contohnya kita tahu price nak naik So kita boleh strategize our trading right? Kita nak buy at certain level And kita nak sell at certain level Without this forecasting Or price forecasting Kita tak boleh nak masuk buy atau sell saja. Okay? Itu maksudnya kita masuk secara gambler Kita tak tahu apa-apa Okay itu yang cuba di, diterapkan dalam technical analysis Primarily method is guna charts Kita tak guna information lain Okay, kenapa? Sebab nanti kita relate dengan philosophy of uh, technical analysis Mengapa kita hanya boleh menggunakan technical analysis dengan price saja, Tanpa, me, tanpa uh, mengambil kira faktor-faktor uh, lain Yang mungkin akan menyebabkan price tu bergerak ke sesuatu arah Okay Keduanya, technical analysis versus fundamental analysis, right? So, fundamental fundamental analysis, uh, ni sama juga saya kutuk daripada buku uh, John J. Murphy, Technical Analysis of Financial Markets. 
fundamental analysis focuses on the economic forces of supply and demand that cause price move higher, lower or stay the same. And the fundamentalist study and the fundamentalist studies the cause of market movement while the technician studies the effect. So this is very straightforward. Maksudnya uh, berbanding dengan teknik analisis eh, fundamental analysis fokus dengan keadaan ekonomik sesuatu aset uh, berdasarkan uh, demand and supply and demand because supply and demand lah yang akan menyebabkan price move higher and move lower ataupun tak bergerak if you have more supply than demand that's mean the price will probably go down because you have abundant supply so you less demand so the price will go down and sama juga kalau kita ada demand terhadap sesuatu barang price barang tu akan tinggi so mengapa uh, fundamentalist tengok sini ialah sebab dia percaya bahawa uh, sesuatu supply atau sesuatu demand tu itulah yang akan menggerakkan price kalau kita ada balance eh, balancing between supply and demand price tak akan berubah price akan keep constant for longer period as long as the demand and supply stay the same lah. so this is uh, based on economic eh. contohnya macam kita ada oil oil uh, memerlukan uh, production oil oil eh. memerlukan demand okay. uh, in China, for example China memerlukan adalah uh, the one of the biggest uh, oil importer so kalau China tak demand price oil sekarang oil price akan turun ok so why China demands for oil is for for whatever reason for the industrial work for industrial activity forever that is the economic force China need to move its its economy uh, by ensure the industrial activity keeps going on so part of that is to have more oil imported to the country into the country ok so that drive the re- demand higher for oil so that probably increase the higher uh, higher oil price ok so dengan kata lain fundamentalist study the reason or the cause of the market to move while technician like us technical trader study the effect once the demand and supply uh, accounted for then we need to understand what it can cause when for example jika demand melebihi supply apakah efek tak ada price ah ha, kita sebagai technical trader need to know the effect so we can know where the price will make the next move okay so when the there is a imbalance of supply and demand that creates a driving force for price to go up or price to go down okay so that is a different lah you can read uh, the the book for detail lah but as a simple words kita technical trader kita study the effect based on price data okay kita tak tengok sangat economic news but sometimes yes we need to include 20% 30% of the economic information during trading that will, will come that later lah and then uh, saya nak terangkan juga mengenai philosophy of technical analysis So dalam technical analysis ni Dia ada tiga uh, philosophy eh, Yang kita kena faham dan kita kena uh, understand Because they will impact our judgement later on Okay So number one is market action discount everything Maksudnya market action ni Market action ialah price, volume and Uh, open interest Nanti kita pergi detail uh, Berkenaan dengan market action Maksudnya market action ni adalah Price dan volume Volume adalah measures of Trading activity You have a higher volume You have a uh, Large trading activity is going on You have a lot of sell and buying activity is going on. That's referred to volume And price is as a price lah So What is trying to say Market action discount everything Meaning For whatever the reason happen about something is already be accounted for inside the price. For example, if some if Iran uh, um, do uh, interrupt the supply of oil in the Gulf of, uh, in the in, in the Persian Gulf, right? Automatically, price akan naik. 
why I say automatically maksudnya the price will automatically absorb the effect and factor in into the price resulted the price jadi makin tinggi because kita ada threat terhadap oil supply so price as that result kan tadi kan kita study the result of the Iranian doing something negative that will impact the price so kita study the impact of the price which is price higher how higher is going to be how long is going to be that is the study of technical analysis so from that technical analysis kita tahu macam mana kita nak trade oil okay so market discount they akan discount economic news they akan account uh, what happen natural disaster contohnya macam coronavirus sekarang ni dia dah market dah count price dah counted for that's why lah min, minyak kita jatuh lah ataupun kita saham-saham perubatan naik kan contohnya uh, because dia dah already counted everything kita tak perlu faktorkan dia kemudian whatever you see the price on the charge that's what you see the effect is all in is all embedded okay and number two price move in trends so maksudnya price ni is not randomly up and down up and down right okay it move in trends we have a uptrend downtrend and sideway okay number three history repeat itself history repeat itself meaning uh, for example uh, if uh, market going uptrend and after that they go down trend and they go down trend tadi dia akan pergi kepada lower uh, bottoming eh? satu level price yang bottom and that bottom could be adalah price level yang sudah Uh, sudah sudah sampai suatu masa ketika dulu and now is it maybe second or third time or fourth time dia sampai ke price level tu right and then history itu nak menyatakan kata bahawa kalau oil price sudah jatuh ke tahap 30 dollar per barrel later on after 10 years the market will crash and oil will go back to 30 right 30 dollar per barrel that is a history repeat itself okay it's like a cycle Okay. Next uh, Dalam technical trading ni Kita ada satu dipanggil uh, Dow Theory eh. So sini saya akan, saya akan terangkan uh, Enam basic element Dalam Dow Theory Nombor satu lebih kurang sama dengan apa yang saya cakap tadi uh, The average discount everything So the average maksudnya is like macam uh, A collection of uh, saham-saham Yang Uh, diukurkan dia punya performance dalam satu kategori which is dalam satu index ataupun average uh, dia dah count discount everything effect dalam tu sekali eh. and then number two the market has three trends ok nanti kita akan pergi satu-satu eh. saya nak just nak lay out uh, the six fundamental uh, element dalam Dow Theory major trend have three phases the averages must confirm each other volume must confirm The trend, a trend is assumed to be in effect until it gives definite signal that it has reversed. Okay. So, saya akan break down uh, ke, ke enam-enam elemen ni dalam uh, video akan datang lah. Tapi, uh, cukup setakat uh, kali ni, kita cover in brief lah. Dalam masa 30 minit ni, 40 minit ni berkenaan dengan introduction about technical analysis.